The Smith family has told 10 News First that thousands of vulnerable children will miss out on educational support next year as the charity's Christmas appeal falls almost $2 million short. It coincides with new data yet to be released showing the cost of living crisis is pushing once regular donors to change their habits. Tis the season for giving. Christmas is one of our most important times of the year for us. But this year, the Smith family, like many Australians, is feeling the pinch. At the moment, we're $1.8 million behind in the funds we'd hoped to have received uh, to date. The charity seeks to break the cycle of poverty by providing educational support to children in low-income families. It helped almost 200,000 people over the past year, but with the current fundraising shortfall in its Christmas appeal... 4,300 students will miss out on our learning and mentoring programs. At a time when demand is high and rising. One in ten Australians have said that they're going to need a charity to get through Christmas this season. Half of them are going to see a charity for the very first time. The reason? People are having less go into their wallets or into their bank accounts as a result of higher taxes, higher interest rates and the rise in the cost of living. The Smith family situation is a symptom of a broader trend. Data obtained by 10 News First shows a significant drop in the number of regular donors and the amount they give. 16% of known donors said they'd make a regular credit card contribution in November, down 10% since 2020. Almost 30% say they donate less per month, double this time last year. The lifeblood of Australian uh, charitable giving is often in those regular donations that charities can count on. And if they can't count on regular donors, there are other ways to support. So signing up to become a volunteer. Gifts of food and toys. Lucy Gray for 10 News First.